sister, sister. Okay, so I am at my baby sister's house, little baby sister Candace, who turned into a grown woman with three children overnight. And I love decluttering. She loves decluttering. She has taken her, this is the first home that they have purchased and completely transformed it into something amazing and beautiful and gorgeous. She is way better at decorating than me. So we will be doing a home tour, but today we are doing a major kitchen declutter. And no offense to anybody who raised us, but we might be descendants of, we'll call it pack rats instead of hoarders. So we are going to emotionally work through the process of letting go of things that no longer serve Candace and her family to open up more room and more space for things that she loves in her kitchen. So we're gonna be showing you how we have emptied out her entire kitchen and we will show you the process when it's all done. Candace already had a really good start on the organization. Her pantry looked great. She had already gone to a lot of work to declutter and organize her pantry. So it was really just getting everything out of her cupboards because everything else already had a system, as you can tell. I think her pantry looks great. So first of all, we pulled everything out of the cupboards and we pulled out some card tables and a banquet table and we just got everything out so that we could sort through and decide what was most important for her to keep, what we could get rid of, and how we could reorganize all of her space and make it as functional as possible so that everything fit in a more logical and functional way. Who gave you all those dishes? No. We don't have to name names. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's okay. We love Someone you, Mom. I related to. Okay, so is this... Do you love these dishes? No. But they were a gift. They were a gift. What do you do with a gift? I don't know. I feel guilty. You pass them on to somebody who will love and adore them. Because right now, have you ever used them? Once or twice. Once or twice. So they're completely taking up space. Yes. In your house. I say we pass them on okay. and set them free. Okay. I'm actually really struggling with this one. Because I don't want mom to have hurt feelings. I know. It's emotional. It's more about mom's feelings than my feelings. Oh. Mom's a grown woman. Okay. Put it on the giveaway table. Okay. Way to go, Candace. Woo! Let's keep going. Okay. The deep cleaning on top of the shelves was extremely satisfying. <laughs> it was something that definitely needed to be done. The previous homeowners left it pretty sticky as most surfaces near the stove top will get. And so it was pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> We found that the rag just was not cutting it, even though we tried even using her Norwex um, rags and cleaners, but we finally found that an SOS pad did the job. So after we pulled everything out, we had a pretty big donate pile and that was really satisfying to get rid of some things. And then we just started to go through what she wanted to keep and decide how we wanted to put it back into the shelves. And we were so happy with how we finally put everything back together. We kept most of her Tupperware storage and glass containers in a very easy to reach place. And we were able to sort through and kind of organize and thin out what she had and keep her favorite things. And as you can see, everything is very easy to access and reach and will stay very organized. She really wanted to have a clear countertop, so we moved her toaster oven to a different location and then moved her mixing bowls so that they were all in the same place and easy to access. And then we just put some of her pans that didn't go on her pot hanger down below in that cupboard. We moved all of her cleaning supplies from under the cabinet, which was under the sink, and we put it over the stove above the microwave. We sorted out all of her drawers and put all of her bags together, all of the plastic wrap, foil, things that kind of made more sense to be together in that top drawer, which is used most frequently. And then in the next drawer, we put some of her uh, not as frequently used things um, down in the second drawer, but things that just kind of stayed together. And then in the bottom drawer, we put all of her dish towels and um, dish rags. And as you can see, the kids were already <laughs> <laughs> trying to reorganize for us, but that is life with kids. And this is her newest little addition, little baby. He is so sweet. 
So under her kitchen sink, we put that toy kitchen, which her kids love. It's a big hit. And then we just kept her most frequently used kitchen cleaning items really easy to grab within reach and then she uses her pancake griddle all the time so we didn't want to clutter the um, cabinets with anything other than that and then we used um, the rest of the space to keep things easy to access so that she didn't have to pull too many things out to get those heavier, bigger, bulkier appliances. Those can be so hard to store. They were taking up so much space on our countertop that it just always felt cluttered. So we really wanted to make sure that we could move everything down. We did the same thing with the rest of her appliances that she doesn't use a ton, but she didn't want to get rid of, like the crock pot, um, the hand mixer. We put her cake pans together just because she said she doesn't bake a whole ton. She rarely uses a food processor. The toaster oven she doesn't use a ton but wanted to you know still be able to have access to it and then she can just pull it up where she's got all of her plugs and have that clean counter space when she's using those bigger bulkier appliances but as you can see it turned out gorgeous <laughs> her kitchen is just like such a welcoming sight um, we got everything put away in a way that really makes sense for what she uses most where she would use the bigger appliances on that bigger countertop space. She's already got her pots hanging up above. We kind of thinned through those. And then above the fridge, we have what we decided is her party cabinet. <laughs> These are things that she didn't want to get rid of because when she does host, it is really nice to have some of those nicer dishes, casserole dishes, that sort of thing, but she doesn't use them very often. So that's why we put that over the fridge, just because she won't be needing to access those very frequently. As always, thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you next time.